<laughs> yeah. So I am officially four months postpartum and I feel like it's time that I come back to myself a little bit, try to find myself. Um, there's just really nothing left in the tank for me after taking care of Fern, the house, and work, I just don't have time to really put energy into myself and, you know, prioritize. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to film this video? But that changes today. I'm gonna put in some effort into myself today. So we're gonna attempt a little glow up. This is not what I look like on an everyday basis. I'm gonna insert B-roll of what I look like on an everyday basis. This is me trying for 10 minutes in the morning. That's it. Um, and it's fine. But I, there's just, I'm not gonna nitpick everything, but there's just some things that I feel like I could prioritize, get together, uh, and really put more effort into. Maybe not every day because that's unrealistic with the baby, but you know, when I feel like being a little bit more put together um, and just putting more time into myself, I feel like I, I just need to like come back and find myself again because it's really easy to lose yourself and lose that confidence <laughs> that you once had. And I don't necessarily wanna look like my old self because she is long gone. I don't need to like find that version of myself, but I need to find a new confident version of myself that I can embrace every day. So some things I wanna do in this video is focus on my skincare. My skin has been feeling very dull and dehydrated and textured and obviously sleep deprived. So I just need to like rehydrate it. It's just like really thirsty. <laughs> uh, makeup, I'm gonna prioritize some uh, certain makeup products that I feel like would be easier to use and be better for my skin personally, like just, you know, I'm 33, so I feel like I need to like have a little bit of a different makeup routine, but also fun, like fun makeup, because that's one way that I can easily express myself in the mornings and like just slap on and it looks cool. Like I've been doing green eyeshadow a lot because it's so easy. So, you know, I wanna keep it fun. I just need to make the routine a little bit simpler that I can do in 10 minutes really easy and that's it. Also, we're doing a mom chop. We're chopping all of this off in this video. <laughs> now I understand why moms uh, cut their hair off after they have a baby. This is not how I wear my hair every day. This is, I showered last night and put it in a bun while I slept and took it out and this is what we get. It's fine, I would love to keep it like this. I would. I love long hair on me and I think this is fine. Um, it's not, not with a baby, it's impossible. And I'm having hair loss right now so it just having long hairs everywhere it's really driving me nuts I don't feel like myself at all and I just need to cut my hair off I feel like so I'm not sure how short I'm gonna go in this video we're gonna kind of decide that later on um, but hopefully I can cut all this orange off because I've been growing out my natural hair for so long so I just want to like Pack it off, I'm, I'm done with this hair. And then we're gonna be creating a new mom uniform that I can throw on every day that is not pajamas or leggings. I'm tired of wearing those, to be honest. So first up, I placed an order at Sephora. So I needed, like I said, skincare and some new makeup. So let's do a little haul of what I got. Now I did order some stuff on Ulta as well and that is still coming in the mail. So here's a little sneak peek into the box of things that I ordered. First up, not that exciting, but I got this set of sponges from this Sephora brand. I really wanted this one specifically to set my under eyes with some powder. And then I got a Rare Beauty lip liner. Lip liner is my preferred method to wearing lipstick because it doesn't transfer. I can just do a little bit on the outside, blend it in versus like wearing a full lipstick. I have sensory issues when it comes to lip products and I really don't like wearing them. Um, but lip liner is the easiest thing to do. And I've always wanted to try Rare Beauty. Let's do a little swatch. This is in the color Talented. It's just their nude colored one. And I think, oh, this is gonna be perfect. You can't see that, it doesn't matter. You'll see me put it on later. And then we got a Kosas concealer. Now I already use this concealer, but I buy like the lightest shade. I always think I'm like paler than I am for some reason. So this is in the shade 04N. So light medium with natural, neutral yellow undertones. I don't know if it's gonna be my shade either, but I wanted something that was a little bit closer to my natural skin tone because I always have like the really white, it's like really pale concealer, which you'll see later. This color does a little bit, oh, it might be a little, little too dark. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be too dark. I'm gonna have to return that. So that's all I got in my Sephora order as far as makeup, but I did get some ordinary skincare because it's way more affordable and I just wanted to try out some of these things. So first up, I needed some kind of exfoliant because my skin is feeling so textured and very, very dull 
and I'm like breaking out. I don't know if it's hormonal or the products I'm using right now. But I got this, which is, oh, comes with a little squeeze top. The Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I love the packaging of Ordinary, it's very nice. So just a nice little um, chemical exfoliant instead of a physical one. Then we have the Squalene Cleanser which I just thought I'd try because it says it's good to remove makeup, which I really like a multi-purpose cleanser, like to be able to take my makeup off and wash my face at the same time. Oh, I totally lied. I got another makeup product. I forgot I got the Rare Beauty Contour Stick. I really wanted to get a cream contour. And this is in the shade Bright Side. So, oh my God, that's a big old knobbin on there. I think will be a nice shade for me, just like a nice cream contour. Ooh, I really like the texture on that to just like warm up the face a little bit. And then lastly, we have a natural moisturizing surface hydration formula. I think it's just a moisturizer and hopefully it's good because I just don't like the moisturizer I currently have. So that's step one, collecting the things. I still have some things to show you later uh, when my Ulta order comes in and then I bought something on Amazon that's coming today, I'll show you later. Um, but that's it for now uh, to start this glow up process. I needed to get some new things. I'm really bummed about that concealer not matching. We'll try again next time I guess I don't know <laughs> okay we have two other parcels to open for this glow up let's start with Amazon I was definitely influenced as someone who uses Olaplex every now and again people are saying that well, this is better that I don't know what the brand is Eliza Vecca Ser 100 collagen ceramide coating protein treatment for your hair now I am chopping all of my hair off well you know to like here maybe um but i still need to like do you know some treatment to what is left of it because i want to keep that really healthy oh my god this packaging is so cute uh, <laughs> here's the hair mask i've just heard really good things i saw this on tiktok so we're gonna give that a try and then in this bag we have my ulta order now there's one thing missing from this but i'll include it in you know the next clip you'll see it first up we have the elf halo glow liquid filter now i see charlotte tilbury's all over tiktok as well and obviously that's not cruelty free not really influenced to buy that it's expensive i'm not really into really expensive makeup nowadays um, but i thought i would try this as something just to put on um, because I like really light skin. So let's see. I got the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade this time because it didn't look like there was, you know, big range of shades. So let's see. This is supposed to be a dupe for that. It'll just be like a really sheer... I don't know why I want to smell it. See, that's the lightest shade. It is a little orangey, at least on my hand. I'm hoping it matches. Although it's really, really sheer and lightweight. So I actually think that's going to be perfect for... The face speaking of face i got two of these about face colors and these are liquid eyeshadows these are matte fluid eye paints i was really debating what colors to get because i was really tempted by a lot of them and they were on sale actually for like 11 dollars each so they're really affordable i had to get the the lime green one because green lately has just been my color to wear on my eyes but these are so much fun i love the packaging like i'm obsessed with this packaging but they are just fluid eye paints and super super pigmented i've seen again people play with these on tiktok so i got the lime green one which is in the color everything now and then i got the red color which is scream of consciousness i thought i could do something really fun with the red one like some red eyeliner i thought that would be really cool it's just a basic red so we're gonna try some fun looks out with those several months later today is my last day with this hair tomorrow this is all getting hacked off. I wake up with full on matte. I am so excited to cut it off. I'm still undecided on exactly how short, but definitely all of the orange is going away, which is gonna be so wild that <laughs> Burn is very excited as well. Um, but she won't have anything to grab onto, which is fine with me. So yeah, tomorrow we're hacking this off. All of this, look at how dead it is. I stopped even putting like uh, the product after the shower and stuff. I literally just condition it so it's somewhat presentable in a ponytail and that's it. I'm like, why am I wasting my Olaplex cream on it after the shower if I'm just gonna chop it off anyway? So, so excited. I'm gonna be a new, whole new person tomorrow. I can't even hold the camera out far enough to show how long it's gotten to include my entire head and hair, but so ready for it to be gone. Are you ready? 
It's so good. You know, I got this haircut mostly out of necessity and function, so I wasn't expecting to like it more aesthetically than my long hair because I've had long hair for so long now, but I just have never liked it so much. And I can't explain how much better it feels to like get rid of all of that orange. Let me put you on the windowsill actually. Like I've loved that orange hair for so long and I do eventually want to go back to like a natural redhead color, but this is all my natural hair. This is my natural hair. I don't have to worry about dyeing it or anything like that. Maybe I'll maintain trims, you know, I'll get it cut uh, as it grows out. But this is just like so cute and it just feels like me. And I feel like that's really important right now. That's the whole point of this video is to like feel like myself, maybe not like my old self, but like, you know, feel a little bit better about myself and like my new self. And I think this is the hair of 2023 me like this is the hair that represents the mom version of me and my new identity and this whole year has really been about transformation in so many ways um so i feel like just reflecting that on the outside with the haircut we're one step closer to achieving the mom glow up i think the next step is going to be doing a little bit of a makeup routine i've never really played with the makeup with you i did um but not not it's not in this video yet because i filmed that back in april let me show you how filming that get ready with me went because it was a lot you just like sit in my lap is that fine you want a toy i can't even see what i'm doing there's no mirror <coughs> doing this while nursing please don't bump my arm <coughs> and what color was this I can already tell. Perfect. So now we're gonna do it again and we're gonna play with that makeup and I'll show you kind of what I've been doing lately with my makeup routine, with those new products. I wanted to do like a first impressions with you, um, but time got away from me and here we are. And I've been using the products and I really, really like them and I'll show you kind of how I've been using them and do a little makeup routine. I wanted to do like a fun one, but for the sake of today's video, I think I'll do like my go-to look that when I feel like putting makeup on, and I'm, I don't know, don't have that much time, this is kind of what I'll do. Okay, so firstly, I've been really liking the e.l.f. skin, what is this, Woe Glow. Um, I think this is a really good dupe for the glow screen, honestly, I put a lot on. Um, I wear this every day that I wear makeup, even if I'm not going outside, because I love how it makes my skin look, and even if I don't like necessarily need sunscreen, but then we go on walks a lot, so I typically do like, go outside so I think this is a really important step but I love the sunscreen it does have like more of a scent um, to it of sunscreen than the than the super group one but it for the price I think it's a really really good comparison it is only SPF 30 though so not as much as I would like it to be and then I also really like the elf halo filter um, the halo glow liquid filter because this is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury but this adds a really nice amount of coverage not even coverage but like evening out of skin tone. So I kind of just like dab it around. Um, this is the lightest one, as you can see, it's still like, I mean, it, it works because it blends it. It's not very um, like high coverage or anything like that. I, I am so rusty at this. How was I, how did I do beauty videos regularly? Like, dear God, I'm struggling. <laughs> anyway, that's probably way too much. And then what I do is I go in with the Kosas concealer. This is the one I was telling you about that is too light for me, but I use it in, combination with this this is uh 0.05 n so it's more of a neutral shade and i just put that right there in the corners here so i'm getting more pigmentation around my eyes um and then i like to do a little bit here the nose area and then a little bit in the jowls section of the face the way i do my makeup now compared to 10 years ago is so funny to me how different it is and this is an elf blending brush for face and then i just blend away i really like going light on my skin these days um, i obviously have a lot of redness and discoloration but i think it just looks so much more flattering when you have less makeup on that than like full coverage especially with i have fine lines as well so it just looks way better the less makeup I wear. And then I'll go with my finger and like tap away at the areas where it tends to collect more product. 
to make it look more natural on the skin because I like my makeup to look really natural and I think that's pretty good it's like not full coverage I don't need that I don't really care to cover up every single imperfection on my face I'm past that point so I like how that looks and this honestly being a little bit darker mixed with the lighter I think it makes for a really good color on my skin next I have been enjoying the rare beauty contour I'm not really a contour gal but this has been really nice so you know just go in with a little bit of a brush And this is a really nice color for my skin tone as well. My favorite blush lately has been the Milk uh, Lip and Cheek thing stick in the shade Work. It's this really nice rosy color. And I just put that kind of on my cheekbones. Just like right there. Cream products definitely are the way to go for me personally these days. I think they just look the best on my skin. And then I just use a brush to blend that in. And both of those products blend beautifully into the skin. I love them. And then I take my brow pencil. You might be wondering, what do you do with your brow products now that you don't do your eyebrows anymore? Because I stopped doing my eyebrows about a, over a year ago and never looked back. And I love it. Uh, it really takes out a lot of time out of my makeup routine because I used to spend 10 minutes alone just doing my eyebrows because, as you can see, I don't have much going on there. So it would take me forever. So I take my brow product and I do freckles. <laughs> I've always done this, uh, even when I did my brows, I would take my brow product and do freckles with them. It looks a lot right now, trust me, I'm gonna blend it. And I don't do this every day either, but I like how it looks and it's how I use my brow products now. <laughs> and then I prefer to use just a little bit of powder. I don't necessarily love the overly powdered look, but just a quick, just it feels better to powder a little bit, especially right now, because it's so hot out. So I just do like a quick little. And then for eyes, I keep it really simple. So I'll go in, I have like Urban Decay pa little palettes. I'll just take something like this in the eyeshadow. And I do the same thing I've been doing lately um, or have been doing for years and just doing a little eyeshadow on the lash line if I'm doing basic makeup like I am today. And just to add like a little bit of definition, but. Okay, and I have been playing around with the About Face products. I just used this one for the first time the other day, and I did like a big red wing eyeliner situation. It was so pretty, and I love the green one too for like all over blended out. I think they look so fun. I also bought this palette, which is the Makeup Revolution uh, Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise eyeshadow palette and it's been also really fun to play around with. I love those greens. The greens really draw me in. Anyway, I'm going to use mascara. This is the e.l.f. Roller Lash Dupe. Uh, Lash and Roll. I love all their dupes coming out lately. It's been pretty nice. <laughs> Just got really big flashbacks to when I would do beauty videos and there was a train. Can you hear it? And my cat snoring. Do you Pepe, wake up. Okay, and the last thing is lips. I have been trying to find some new lip products. Obviously, I got the Rare Beauty one. Obsessed with this. This is what I've been wearing every single time I do my makeup. Um, but I did recently get the e.l.f. lip stain. I saw this on TikTok, the glossy lip stain in Cinnamon Dreams. So it's like the nudie brown one. I'll try this at another time because this is the first product that I got for the sake of this video. So I want to show you how this looks on. I love that it rolls up and you can sharpen it, but I really don't do that. This is in the color Talented. I, I said that already in the beginning of the video, but just in case you're skipping around, it is the perfect nudie color, especially for my skin. It just looks so natural. And I just do a little fill in. I don't like to go too much in there because I don't like the feeling of lip product. I'm just gonna smudge it in. So I've been filming for 15 minutes. This routine takes me about 10 to 12 minutes in general and it's really been amazing as a go-to to feel a little bit more put together. Um, again, I don't do this every day. I'll do this when I film. Uh, the only thing I switch out is the, sometimes the lips, I don't know, um, but mostly the eyes. I'll do like fun eyeliner, fun eyeshadow, and things like that. As you know, you see my horror channel. Uh, the different looks that I do are on my TikTok. You can follow me on TikTok now. So I guess the last step in this process is finding a outfit, an outfit. I, my clothing situation lately has been a nightmare. There's a pile of clothes right here. There's a pile of clothes over there. My closet is basically unusable. So I'm not probably gonna take you along trying to find an outfit. I'll show you. 
Um, maybe we'll try to find something. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to put together because I need it to be comfortable, something I can throw on that's acceptable for the outdoors, like going out in public, um, but also comfortable to be at home and stay at home in. But I wear pajamas all the time and I need to like snap out of that a little bit and actually get dressed for the day. I feel like that'll help my motivation a lot. So just part of the glow up makeover process is feeling put together even if I'm just chilling at home so let's try to find an outfit for that when i show you this please do not be alarmed maybe should i do this in a video would you guys want to see me do a closet makeover in a video because i need help i have not established a laundry system or like putting clothes away or where i'm storing things it's just a lot so let me show you what i'm working with and let's try to find something in here to wear as a new mom uniform hello <laughs> I know it's become a little bit of like a storage situation what is this this is just really bad like her clothes are cute and hanging over here I have her little dresser um and then there's my stuff and I don't even like really access this that much it's just become like a storage closet and that's not good I need to figure this out like this pile of clothes has been in here since we moved that's how bad it is and how little motivation I have right now so let's try to find something so it's summertime I want to have something comfortable and lightweight maybe a dress situation but I okay I really wanted like a linen dress for this video but I didn't really find anything I have like this basic really casual polyester dress but i think that's gonna be too hot um so i still want to feel like cool and like myself i have been getting more into crop tops and just embracing my figure now so you know i'm fine with a crop i really like this combo like, i love this white shirt this is really fun it's mesh and i wear that every summer i'll pull this out as a little over shirt option that i can throw on when i leave the house so that's gonna be a good one i like oversized tees i was thinking about cropping this shirt so let's actually pull that and i think i'll crop it and then wear it maybe with some black linen pants and then i can throw this on over it if i want to like have add a little something to the outfit you know Here's the shirt on. I think that's the perfect length for what I wanted. I love it. I think I'm gonna wear the shirt so much more. It was just at a really awkward length and I think I got it for like $6 on Poshmark or something. Um, so yeah, loving that. I feel like the look is already coming together. Obviously I had to do something horror related because that's one of the things that still makes me feel like myself a little bit is having that passion for horror movies. And so I want to keep that in my everyday mom outfit as well and wear t-shirts that represent my love for that. Okay, so these are some linen pants that I got from Old Navy. I've been wearing them a ton. They are adjustable, stretchy waistbands. So these are option one. I think it works with the, the length of the crop shirt, but I also bought these in orange and green and I've never actually worn them. So here are the green color. It's like a muted kind of green so I think I'm going to try these on too just to give it a little bit more something because I always wear the black and like all black is a look don't get me wrong but let's try the green why not okay so they're obviously wrinkled I would fix that um I'm not really feeling it with the look they're nice you know I like them I like the black I think I'm just gonna stick with the black they're okay I just think this outfit isn't the right one I just think the black on black looks the best and I need something a little bit different on the top to wear the green so let's try change back into the black okay I like that better I just think these are just so classic you know the black all black outfit I just think is so much more me I mean don't get me wrong I love the green too but I just think this this is better now to add a little bit of something to the outfit let's try this white long button-up shirt I just feel like this would make it look a little cooler I don't know very summery you know just go into the to the store in this to the library with my baby i usually like to wear like a tank top under this shirt with like a little button moment or back in the day i used to wear like a bralette under it with a little button moment i just love this shirt i think it's so cool i thrifted it so long ago but i think this is the look i'm i'm into it i don't have a full body mirror right now so i'm kind of using the viewfinder as my mirror to figure out if i like this outfit or not so let me go check in the bathroom mirror hold on this is the final form 
This is my final mom outfit. I kind of feel like I'm going bowling in this, but you know what, that's appropriate too. I feel like that is something that I could do um, as a new mom. But uh, yeah, this is, I feel good in this. And overall, I feel like this makeover really helped. Obviously the biggest change being the hair and this is the biggest improvement overall. And the makeup routine and taking care of my skin. I didn't update you on the skincare, it's going fine. Uh, I like the products, they're good, but obviously it takes time uh, to find out if you really like them. So I'm still still experimenting with them. I also treated myself to a new Bagu bag that can hold diapers and toys and things. So I don't have to carry the big diaper bag. So this is, this is the ultimate fit, I think, with this bag i love the avocado green so i guess that's it for my my glow up my mini makeover uh since becoming a mom coming back to myself a little bit and feeling more like me which i definitely do in an outfit like this and hair like this so which was your favorite transformation was it the hair makeup outfit you didn't really see my outfit before but trust me it was very very blah um, but i hope you enjoyed this process even though it was so chaotic and months long in the making <laughs> but hopefully it was worth the wait um and i'll talk to you soon Bye.